top 10 most iconic Rolex watches of all time. The perfect watch is not only useful, but also makes a statement. There are a few elements that all Rolex watches have in common. They're consistently sleek and fashionable, and they're made to last. Let's take a look at Rolex's top 10 most iconic watches of all time. The Oyster. Despite some initial attempts to house a completed wristwatch inside a second waterproof case, it wasn't until Rolex introduced the Oyster in 1926 that such a watch became a consumer reality. The Oyster captivated hundreds of stunned individuals when it was first exhibited inside a fish tank, Selfridge's department store in London, keeping perfect time submerged in water. The fully dry watch hit the headlines when Mercedes Gleets swam the English Channel, wearing an Oyster on her wrist as part of what is perhaps the first advertorial, giving rise to the star adventurer as watch ambassador. A crystal screwed into place with the threaded bezel, screwed on case back, and screw down crown were three new innovations that ensured the Oyster's waterproofness. Although its screwed in bezel has since been removed, the fluting of that early bezel is still a key aesthetic aspect of modern Rolexes. Contemporary dive watches from all brands follow the same basic waterproofing technique, and the term Oyster has become synonymous with a water-resistant case in the Rolex vocabulary. The Date Just The date mechanism was first used in watches in the early 20th century. Although it took several hours to change the date wheel, around midnight, the Date Just adjusts its date display almost instantly, an innovation that has proven popular with users ever since. It has gone through numerous changes throughout the years, yet it is still the same instantly recognizable watch. Many people believe the Date Just's fluted bezel and prominent date window magnifier are the most iconic characteristics of any watch ever made, and it's hard to disagree. What people really love about the Date Just now is what they've loved about it ever since. It's diverse enough for work, play, and socializing, and it's tough enough to wear 24 hours a day. In a lot of ways, the Date Just embodies Rolex by combining technical advancements toughness, and classic style in dimensions that feel natural and consequently just right. The Oyster Perpetual Although patents for an automated watch movement winding rotor did exist in the 1800s, Rolex patented an upgraded version in 1931. They didn't release the iconic Oyster Perpetual until 1950, with Oyster standing for waterproof and Perpetual standing for automated winding. The case back on these watches had to be fairly deep, thus the nickname Bubble Back for these early OPs. Its Perpetual rotor swings 360 degrees in a back and forth motion, similar to bumper watches rotors, which in either direction impact a spring-loaded stopper. Its mechanism, despite only winding in one direction at first, held more power on average than bumper-driven movements, and their robust mainspring produced roughly 35 hours of reserve power, a commendable standard even for mechanical auto-winding movements today. Rolex began marketing Oyster Perpetuals with the titles Air King or Explorer on the dial to aviation and mountaineering enthusiasts in the mid-1950s. The watches, on the other hand, were practically identical to the original OP, and this is still the case. A new Rolex Oyster Perpetual can be purchased in a variety of sizes and styles today, and it still is one of the most important and classical sports watches ever manufactured. The Submariner This watch is perhaps the most iconic and desired watch of all time, regardless if it's vintage or completely new. It was built on the Rolex Oyster Perpetual, a waterproof watch with automatic winding. The rotating timing bezel and enhanced gasket system, however, distinguished the Submariner and made it suitable for scuba. Rolex started producing two-tone and solid gold subs in the 1980s for a new generation of yacht club goers who wore their tool watches with preppy attire. No serious diver was wearing a mechanical watch by the 2000s, and as they say, the rest is history as the sub continues to rise in popularity. The GMT Master When Pan American Airlines had a temporary monopoly on transatlantic flights following World War II, the airline asked Rolex for a multi-time zone pilot's watch. Rolex's response was the GMT Master. Pilots may now monitor local and GMT time by adding a 24-hour hand to the center arbor and a set 24-hour timing bezel. All of these were kept in an oyster case and featured the Datejust's Cyclops date magnifier. 
During World War II, pilots were heroes and role models, and most commercial pilots in the 1950s had served in the military. The GMT Master quickly gained popularity among international travelers who respected these pilots, but it wasn't widely available to the general public until the 1960s, when tool watches became more fashionable for everyday wear. The watch was produced in 1989 with a new movement and thinner casing, while the GMT Master's third generation were launched in 2007 with ceramic bezels and a much more advanced movement with a suite of the latest improvements. Despite not being as well known as the Submariner or the Daytona, the GMT Master continues to be a fan favorite and, as a result, is extremely difficult to obtain, particularly in all steel. The Milgoss when we reflect on the 20th century, it's a shame that we don't immediately recognize engineers and scientists as heroes, but we definitely should. And if we did, we'd probably be more upbeat with the Rolex Milgoss. The daredevils who wanted really a magnetic watch were locked up in labs usually off-limits to the public, covertly acquired their funding via research grants and contracts from the government, and hardly became public personalities. Thus, this timepiece is most often overlooked in the Rolex collection. The Milgoss, which refers to 1000 Goss, the initial A magnetic rating, was a technological masterpiece deserving of all the attention it never received. It was reintroduced in 2007 with an improved case and a lightning bolt seconds hand. Although not widely available in stores, the all steel Milgoss isn't impossible to obtain. The Daytona. This watch's most notable feature was the word Daytona on the dial, but that's all there was to it. Since the 1940s, Rolex had been placing third-party chronograph movements into oyster cases and their bigger, more current chronograph with stick hands had been available since the early 1960s. However, in 1962, Rolex started sponsoring motor races at the beachside track in Daytona, Florida, and a year later, they put that iconic word on their Cosmograph chronograph, which led to the birth of a legend. Daytonas weren't exactly cheap watches at the time costing roughly $400, but Paul Newman's Daytona sold for $17.2 million in 2017, breaking the record for the most expensive wristwatch sold. Ever since, these watches have become nearly impossible to find in any metal, but a steel Daytona is particularly difficult to find these days. The Day-Date or President The Day-Date was the first waterproof chronometer grade automatically wound watch with an instant day and date display. It was one of the more intricate watches emerging from the Swiss industrial watchmaking factories at the time, cleverly planned out to spell out the full day of the week at the top of the dial. That may not seem like a big deal now, but it was at the time. It went on to be worn by more US presidents than any other watch, earning the title, The President. The President bracelet is likewise striking, with its five rows of crowned links that reflect light from every aspect. Individuals with day dates flashing on their wrists were usually of tremendous power and stature. The Sea Dweller This watch was built for the exceedingly deep and long-term dives that commercial divers, explorers, and researchers were undertaking. In 1967, being capable of sustaining pressure at a 4,000 feet depth was nothing to laugh at. The Sea Dweller received a revised water resistance rating of 12,800 feet in 2007, making it, for a brief while, the world's deepest going watch. It resembles a ramped up Submariner on the wrist, which it really is. For others, the presence and assurance of this bigger, thicker watch is alluring, while the unimaginable depths to which it can survive testifies to the legacy of human creativity inherent in these little wonders. This watch shows Rolex's commitment to ocean research, which the company supports heavily through its numerous science programs. Waterproofing in nanoscale wristwatches has shown to be useful technology that can be applied to small submarines, cameras, and other scientific instruments that are probing the depths of our mainly undiscovered oceans. The Sky Dweller with its bright and wavy fluted gold bezel, 42mm case, and absolutely unusual dial layout, it's possibly a little too much visually. No other Rolex makes such a powerful and confident statement. The Sky Dweller, however, is remarkable because it offers one of the best values for a highly sophisticated watch on the current market, and it is distinctively Rolex. 
The Caliber 9002 is housed inside an oyster casing, and it holds one of modern horology's most clever complications. It powers a sophisticated annual calendar that employs the 12 markers around the dial to signify the month and a classic date aperture to display the date. A unique 24-hour timing ring acts as both a GMT reference time and an AM-PM indicator, but it's the ingenious way in which those numerous displays are set that makes them genuinely unique. One spins the bezel to different positions to pick the function to be set, and then adjusts that function using the crown. It's a lot like setting a digital watch, except here it's done with full mechanical finesse. It's rare to see so many watch models gain iconic status and long-term success. If these watches piqued your interest, please let us know in the comments section below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time in Above First Class.